Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another another video. Today, we're going to talk about what to do when you feel stuck in your life. So guys, typically when we feel stuck or confused or sad or angry or we don't know what to do in our lives, typically what we think we should do is change our outside circumstances. So you know, if you're feeling like shit, you may think, oh, maybe I need to move. Maybe I need more money. Maybe I need a girlfriend. Maybe I need to start a business. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. And I'm here to tell you that even if you make those changes right away, you're still going to, uh, you're still going to feel those, those, you're still gonna feel like you're in a rut, right? Because you didn't change anything uh, that actually has substance. And really what has substance is your habits, your, your, your thinking patterns, and basically how you operate in your day-to-day -day life, what you do, what, what, yeah, basically how, like what you do in your day-to-day -day life. So, this could, you know, if you're feeling if you're feeling like you're in a rut or you just don't know what to do, like man, you know, you're you're stuck, you're you're depressed. Not you see, you feel like nothing's going your way. A lot of the times it's because you're not uh you're not taking care of yourself. You're not there's something you're forgetting to do or you're just you're just ignoring, right? Like you could you know, a lot of people feel like shit and they think that it's because of something that happened to them and then they think they just need to change an outside circumstance but you know it could be because you know they're not getting enough sleep or they're not working out or getting enough exercise or they're they're not getting any sunlight they're not socializing enough they're inside all day they're watching tv too much they're on their phone too much and see when you look at it from this perspective you uh you take your power back because these are things you have control over these are things that you like you you can control you know at times you can't con really con i mean you can you can but at times you really can't control where you live you know um especially if you're if your financial situation is not is not where it needs to be you can't really control uh you know if you have a girlfriend or not i mean you can like i said but 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 what I proposed earlier is that these things aren't going to get you out of your rut. The only thing that's going to get you out of your rut is what you do day to day, day in and day out. Because you can move or, you know, you can move to a new city or you can get a girlfriend. But then what? You always got to ask yourself, you know, when these things happen to me, then what? Then what? You know, because here's the thing. If you, if you acquire these things and you're still living like a, de a degenerate, you're still, uh, you know, not doing the fundamentals that make a human being happy. You're not, you're not moving, you're not sleeping enough. You're not, uh, spending time in nature, getting sunlight, putting your feet in the ground, breathing in fresh air. If you're not, if you're ignoring those, I mean, whatever material possession you acquire, it may make you happy for like I said, a, a certain amount of time, but what's really going to sustain you long term is your daily habits and what you do day in and day out. I, I think there's a saying, I'm going to butcher it, but I think Aristotle said, uh, whatever we, I'm going to butcher it, but it's, it goes along the lines of whatever we, uh, like success or excellence is a habit. Therefore what we do, we become or something like that. So a lot of what, how we feel and, and our, our mental states comes down to what habits we're repeating day in and day out. And like, here's the thing, guys, social media likes to, likes to, uh, like a lot of these influencers and I have nothing against these guys. I, I, I truly don't. But one thing that they, they illustrate to people is that, you know, the things that they post in their pictures, like, uh, you know, them at a yacht party or them in front of a Lamborghini or them, I don't know, whatever, you, you get the point. They try to paint a picture to the public that these things, or 
like they may know it or they may not know, but they're painting a picture to the public that these things are going to make you happy. And that's why, you know, a lot of people think that if they're in a rut or they're stuck, they think they have to make some crazy changes. Like only if I had this amount of money, only if, if this, if this happened to me, only if I could get this type of girl, only if I could live in this city or this country or this island, only if, no, it should be only if you could do the things that make you happy day in and day out, right? So that's very important to realize because like I said, it's very easy when you're in a rut to uh, get down on yourself and then think that uh, outside circumstances will change your state of mind, right? I remember last week I was feeling a little like stuck and I was frustrated. I was like, man, you know, I, I just, I was like, I just wasn't, I just, I was just pissed off for whatever reason, right? It happens. And you know what's crazy? All I did was, it was like late, it was 11 o'clock at night and I was just sitting in my bed, just contemplating life. I was like, man, life sucks. I was just like, you know, life sucks. We're humans are living terribly. Technology's fucking us. And I, was, I just got into like a really like depressed state of mind. But what happened was I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for I'm going to go for a walk. And I, I took two I took two laps around my, my neighborhood block. And after that, I felt much better. And like I said, you know, sometimes it, it's just as simple as that changing your state, right? Not, not literally like moving states, but like changing your, your state of consciousness, right? So I was just sitting in bed, stagnant, thinking. But as soon as I got up and I moved, I, I got that. I, I was breathing some fresh air. I was moving, right? So a lot, like I said, guys, a lot of it comes down to the fundamentals, right? If we ignore the fundamentals, it doesn't matter what we what we get. We're not going to be happy. We're going to still feel stuck, still feel like something's wrong. So it's important to remember that, guys. Always revert back to your training. That's a saying that when things go wrong, always revert back to your training. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.